Uh, this question is not about predicting what's going to happen because it is already shown here. If you mix this molecule with a bromine, shine the light, then you get the bromination happen there. That's the bromination we just talked about, right? Good bromination at the really position. But it also made this something else, which looks different from what we started from. So question is asking, explain how those two forms by drawing the mechanisms. So that's what the question is. Sometimes if we ask this question and something they, people try to predict what would be the outcome, but the things outcomes are already given to you. So we just want to, want to explain how this happened by using arrows showing me how these two moves. And that's a, basically the mechanism question that you may get for the test. So this is asking a different thing. Anyway, so this is a very easy to understand. By mixing those together, right? That means that you get the chromium radical points. That's the initiation step. Chromium radical will go into the first propagation step, meaning that it's trying to abstract hydrogen from the beginning molecule, which is this molecule. I mean, there, there's no hydrogen there. There's no hydrogen there. Even though double one is hydrogen, that's something that I just talked about. No double bonds and no hydrogen or halogens on double bonds are subject of the reactions. These chapters, even previous chapters. So, but it doesn't matter. Only hydrogen is on these methyl groups. There are four of them. It's a highly symmetrical. So it really doesn't matter which one you pick. It just becomes the same thing. So this one, for instance, there's the hydrogen here. This is a primary carbon, right? You understand the deeper substitution. Why I call this a primary carbon? Because this carbon has only one carbon directly bound to it. I mean, of course, there are huge groups on it, but directly just one carbon bound. So that's why it's primary carbon. Primary radical is not stable, but this is not the ordinary primary radical. This carbon is a primary, but it's a bit a lily, right? Next to double one. So having double one there, it changes things a lot energetically. So bromine hit this hydrogen. So if these come with the one electrons and the one electron there, they make a bond. That leaves this carbon one electrons. So you are forming radical. So that's the first propagation step. So something that we expect, that's how we dissolve it. This will go for the, the second propagation step, meaning that the bromine it's going to be picked by the carbon radical, and then so bromine radical will form later. So this will put the bromine at this position. So this is how we think that product is formed. It's very reasonable. So that part is very easy to be guessed. But the question is that how that forms, how it makes us something else. So that has to do with this aluminium radical. You know, when the double bond next to the radical, you know, they're trying to make a gradual stabilizations. The double bond moved the position because of one electron from this carbon and then one of the electrons, the pi bond, they make a double bond these positions here. This leave the radical goes to another position, which was a part of double bonds in originally, but in these resonance structures, you can see that that's a total shape radical. That radical can go for the reaction too. Because as we talked about, neither is a real combination of these two pictures that overlapping these two together is actually the, how the real thing may look like. So we got the fraction of the radical at this carbon, at the same time, the fraction of the radical at this carbon. So both exist. So if that can go for the reaction, this can fit. So that's why that one go for the second propagation step, picking bromine. And then you get the combination at this position, and that's the what makes this one. So completely different molecule produced, all because you form a little radical. And then a little radical can be better than stabilized. 